Hello, people who cannot sit at home. Thank you so much for joining me. As you can tell, and as you can tell by the title of the video, this video is going to be all about the amazing spas in Ontario. I specifically really love the outdoor spas, the kind of like the Scandinavian type where you go into the hot jacuzzi and then into the cold dip and then into the sauna. But I'm also going to take you through the indoor spas that are in the city and even one Airbnb in Ontario that I think is really cool and almost spa-like. So in the beginning, there's going to be spas that I was able to film and I'm going to show you my own footage. But in the end, I'm going to just take screenshots from the website and I'm going to talk about spas that are also been at, but where I don't actually have the footage. So without further ado, let's go. So the first spa that I want to talk to you about is the Hammam by Sila at Bayview. There are, I think, two locations. One is downtown and over here I am at the Bayview Village. Gorgeous golden staircase. Let's go upstairs. I, of course, pre-booked my treatment and over here I got the little robe and there was like a towel. And at first, you, you, you're advised to show up about half an hour before so that you can steam, go into the steam room for about 15 minutes. I was getting the Hammam Spa, like their signature treatment. And it is recommended that you soften your skin so that it's all nice and, you know, your pores are opened up. And then here's kind of in the middle of the actual treatment because of course I couldn't film everything. This is when the bubbles were already on me. So with this cool pillowcase, my uh, treatment professional was applying all these gorgeous bubbles. Before that, she exfoliated me with this really interesting mitten that you actually get to keep afterwards. And then lots of bubbles on top of you, more exfoliation, and then you turn on your tummy and she does the same bubbles and exfoliation again. And here's the end of the treatment. You get a bit of a treat in the form of Turkish kind of delight and tea, and you can hang out more and you can go to the steam room more, but that was essentially the treatment. It was amazing. I highly, highly recommend that treatment. Uh, the next stop we have Go Place. So this is in Markham. It is an old movie theater that is now turned into spa. Gorgeous place, very beautiful decor, lots to do. You can definitely spend a whole day there. So I do recommend going in the morning. Over here is the space so that you can see. There is uh, infrared kind of uh, light chairs. There is, I think they have insane amount of different saunas. They have the um, the cold room over here, but the saunas they have according to like different minerals like amethyst room and things like that, agate room over here. They are very visually beautiful as well as they actually go pretty high so you get to sweat really well in those saunas. And the Go Place Spa also has a lovely restaurant. This is, I think we got mainly sushi, but I think they have a bunch of different things. And you can even get a lobster that's live. They can prep it for you right there. They also had bubble tea that I tried. And over here is a sashimi. Excellent restaurant, really good prices, really enjoyed it. We even had oysters. Up next, one I want to talk to you about Thermia Village. So this is fairly new. It opened, I think, in the fall of 2022. Again, a whole day there easily. Definitely pre-book before you go and also take slippers than uh, the rest they provide. Basically, it's a circuit. There are a number of hot jacuzzis, then there are cold dips, and then there are just relaxing rooms, and of course, there are saunas. So the idea is that you're supposed to contrast whatever it was. For example, if it's a hot sauna, then you should go into the cold dip and vice versa. And this contrast of temperature it basically gets your getting the toxins out, as I understand it. I'm sure there is more of a proper way of explaining it. Over here we are at the restaurant, great restaurant. We had the charcuterie board, we had a couple of drinks. Food was really lovely. Definitely very nice little break in the middle of relaxation. You get to go right in your robes, but it is extra, of course, and uh, you don't need to have the money because they charge you onto your bracelet, and at the end of the visit, you get kind of charged the whole amount. And over here, I really quickly would like to tell you about my road trip journal. Uh, I have my summer road trip journal, which is for the spring and summer season. Then I have my fall winter road trip journal for the following seasons. And then I also have our trip journal, which is a really fun book of uh, different arts you can do while being on a road trip. And I'm going to link all of the links to these books down in the description below. So up next, we're going to have this unusual Airbnb 
which is close to Maynooth and sort of close to Baincroft area. It's about three hours if you head north. And uh, here's the actual listing from Airbnb. The amazing thing is, well, first of all, it's a dome. It's a really cool dome. The bathroom is over here, kind of outside. But everything in the dome is so comfortable. The inside was already warmed up for us when we arrived. And you just have to throw in a couple of uh, wooden logs to take you through the night. Everything in there just really beautiful. The bed was insanely comfortable. You even have a skylight over there so that you can see the stars. And I think the highlight was that there's a jacuzzi. And it was also preheated for us really, really nicely. And it's also a good idea to just mix up the water so that it's all throughout the same temperature. And over here is me relaxing. Sort of, kind of like the spa. Of course, it's not the spa, but you also get to, you know, experience the gorgeous dome. And these guys are also going to have sauna, I believe, very, very shortly. So that's going to be also another amazing thing. And they also had a shakuri board for us very lovely i'm sure there are many other airbnbs closer maybe to you that you can find but this one was really well priced and i definitely recommend them they're really amazing people and the whole experience was excellent so up next i'm gonna go into the spots that i actually don't have much of a footage of but i will show you where they are located and i'm gonna quickly show you their website so first up, I want to talk about Body Blitz Spa. So we went to the east, but they also have Body Blitz West. It is a downtown spa and they have this water circuit where you pay $78 and on Tuesday it's $68. And over here you can see what they have, which is Warm Dead Sea Salt Pool, Hot Epsom Salt Pool, Cold, cold Plunge Pool, Eucalyptus Steam Room, Infrared Sauna. And over here is the circuit that they suggest. It's essentially similar from something cold to something hot. I have been to both of their locations and I really enjoyed it. It really gets you relaxed. It's in the center of the city and roughly I'd say you need about three hours to just fully enjoy it. Up next, let's talk about Scandinav Spa, Blue Mountain. So this is kind of in the Collingwood area. It's about an hour and... 15 minutes of drive. It's one of the older spas. I love it. I've been here probably seven times or something along those lines. Uh, you do need to book. You actually need to book very well in advance, but the experience is amazing. It's the whole day experience. It's, I love their actually just their relaxation rooms where you just like chill out and uh, look out into the nature. Really beautiful place. Better Nordic Spa, it's similar, it's also about an hour and a half, it's closer to where the Horseshoe Resort is, uh, recently opened, I think it was opened about two years ago, maybe even less, also lots of different kind of uh, hot pools, the cold plunges, they even have this room where you lay down on this marble, and the marble is slightly heated, I really love that marble room, great spa, I think it's $89 uh, and $99 when it's the weekend. And over here I want to talk to you about other ship. This is the only spa I have not been to, but I already have purchased the passes and I'm very excited to go here. What this is is more of a, again, downtown uh, community slash experiential kind of place. So they have a variety of different classes. Some of the classes are free flow, meaning that you, as I understand, get to just experience and do your own thing. You can go into the sauna, you can go into the cold uh, plunge. And then they have more guided tours where the spa professional takes you through a certain circuit that you get to really enjoy and relax. And they also have socials. So I hope you enjoyed all of these spas and my tour of them. Make sure to check them out. They are all lovely. And of course, please subscribe, like, and share if you enjoy my videos. Thank you. Bye.